it is that I have created myself to be the perfect creator. Self-created, so defined by myself, and all things that I create are created every percentile loyal to myself so that they function as I had intended. It is that there is an event of the aligning of the planets for Earth heliosphere, Earth solar system. And it is that the people have the opportunity to create such a sort of concept or passion style and a voice of freedom. And so it is that by applying yourself to the passive elements that arrive to you and perform for you as a passive medium, when you move it, it stays there. And it is so important that we understand ourselves in the clockwork system of our universe rainbow style elements. And the heliosphere is about to align in such a way that it is an epiphany. And so you beings who are able to comprehend this earth legit and true wants you to rejoice and create the good and greatest possible message to invite it a greater celebration and revelation of that moment and so it is a time to look forward to yeah here is the laboratory and my sacred objects that i've painted in charge this holy egg has been painted as one of my oldest objects and painted with such fantastic properties. And this is a magnificent flying squirrel with a detachable arm that flies out and punches all the evil down. And then cha 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 chung reconnects to that squirrel. Here is a box I created of treasures for the spirits of media entertainment, Walt Disney cartoon style, the key and the way, and it is locked and only opens to the right one. It is this way. This is the triangle and this is a water filled and charged like an angel it is a pistol for the spirit of earth to destroy those things that are oh a problem for earth ha this triangle style yeah activated the style of buttons and triangles the robot humanity here now i will show you how to create uh, the total perfection and the extreme of note making and of all that it means yeah the intention as it was made yeah perfection transcendence this is the pocket watch of the black buck now I activate this pocket watch with this paint that I encode my voice. Hi, best, best. Come on, come on. Boom. And now it is transformed that this way. This is the 16 clutch activated perfectly. This paper. So here is the way style button. Me a tin. And I command the servant that is every percent I loyal to me, Pink Shizalan Raccoon Hayasham. And go. And now, over here, a sort of chandelier, chandelabrum, these connecting parts that connect and make it all happen because it is that our imagination is not defunct it is empowered entirely it is so important in the epiphany of all the rainbow creation element the planet was leading to us that stand and use hands and comprehend we are the ones who were intended to be here at this time and it is the universe's intention that we exist and so we are the fruit. Shrapenda, go.
Boom, yeah. Using this, I cut. Blue eyed style. Whoosh, robot. Good. It is good, it's completed. Put the cap back on. I charge this paint with a holy blessing of my style, voice, and intention. All of them this way. Just advancing the Anubius. Ramya, Tinkerbell, and the glitter transform. Observe the tinker. Observe the glitter. And as the glitter does move, it is a sort of surface tension and a movement that you can attach your intention upon the, the surface of the glitter and as they're moving around it's creating a complex calculation and you can ask it to do good things. All these objects have this incredible power. Ooh, what's that? Watch out. The contents of that is quite dangerous. But this pony is entirely safe for those children. Now, this book case Observe, and a celebration within every book tower. It is this way, the red squirrel celebrating the squirrel lawyer kingdom and empowerment. Here it is, releasing million dollar ideas. It is this way, and this is the most important squirrel lawyer college and facility Full set and extreme CC and Bell designing the way that the animals in their nature and robotic systems can understand the one-of-a-kind self and defend the rights and the natures of properties of those who are legit Earth-style people. Like a heaven and afterlife, the spirit and the argument of self. It is here. It is good. Yangla. It is so important. And always understand that you are given freedom and a hand that obeys you for the purpose of your true expression. Define who you are and change the world. You can do it in private. You can do it at home. No one else has to see it. Or it can be a famous work of art. But everything that you design is calculating your intention and all the movement, the power, and the elemental pure energy. When energy is renewable, it becomes the most supreme of issues. It becomes a moral debate. What is this renewable energy to be used for? And so you can design a circuit board that has a perfect sort of message or intention within it. And so you all have the freedom and the equipment and the armor to be the brave. You can be the ones, the angels, that proclaim of what the energy is to be used for. Proclaim something good and transcend and, and help people out. Good Deeds Arcade, Hero School, and Code. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. Contribute and design your full epiphany and your final meaning. Inspirations to the sight and the ability for a one such as my self creator, self created. So a style unique and one of a kind unto myself. To make a mark, to cause a changing uh, differential, or to create some idea inspiration, such is the most critical work of the one who is and involving art. So, mark making and the technique or the intention behind the painting and the mark making or the relationship to the paint with hands is a sort of 
tremendous pivot point as whether it is there or not, a scale, whether it's balanced or not. So this technique I'm going to explain now even though it is something that is already there. But for you, it should be like new and how does that occur? How does that happen when you are learning something? And what is it that is transformed there? And that is to say that I'm, I'm saying that my technique cannot be a change by your learning because your learning curve is quite different of whether or not your pivot point is there. So, all things have a surface tension. The water on uh, many different landscapes, whether it be a pool, uh, a lake, or a drop of water, or a drop of dew that is formed on, on the leaf in the morning. So, the they all have a surface tension and that is what creates the bubbling effect for the waters because the tension on the outside of the water is stronger than the tension on the inside and the numeric value that has been uh, detected there is 545 five. so 5 on the outside on one side of the droplet of water and then there's a 4 grid on the inside of the water and then there's a 5 grid on the outside of the water on the other side and it's the same numeric code that we find in diamond 545 five. and so the, the surface tension of the water is a 5 grid and you will notice that I have 5 fingers and that is important so this golf ball also has a type of surface tension although it isn't the same as water because of its construct so it doesn't have the same type of uh, physical crystal tension however it still does have the effect of the surface tension and so by affecting the surface tension I can actually change the structure of the prism because the reason for the numbers of uh, 545 is there because it's pulling together a body it's creating a prism and so this is also a prism and I can affect its prism and change what this is by the way that I treat its exterior and so that's important let us begin our meditation and our act of supreme uh, idea intellect and communication of changing the exterior of this prism form of golf ball and then I'm going to set it into motion and we're gonna change basically everything but we're gonna we're talking about how things happen and, and how the future is predicted so this part is interactive whereas your interaction with my concept of the engine that I'm describing is not interactive this part is so when I make when I let you know when I make the critical mark I'll tell you and and that will be when you're to project your sort of uh, particle energy uh, willpower and and in the moment that you do it it'll be recorded there like as if it was a film strip the now and the time as it continues right so there will be that point and I'll let you know and I'll say and, and you'll know when, when I'm telling you it right but all the people who are watching this are gonna occur and snap into it and realize that it's their time to make a mark in time at a different time because we're all like subtly uh, born and shaped in different ways and so our timing is all different but by fingerprint eye scan and DNA we are all different and unique people now this is not for a strange purpose, it is for the good purpose of keeping us each separate and keeping track of who's done what. And so the truth is known. And that is something that is a security, like you can learn from uh, chemicals and geodes, but you need to actually uh, communicate or apply that information to your sort of psychic self or your uh, agenda as life in the extreme nature of what all it is that we do and what we are and why we're here, right? So you need to apply that information to yourself and to your choices or, or to your living uh, output, you know, 
availability and, and by your intelligence and wisdom in your choosing and the order of your choosing, how quickly you make an assertion, de it determines like what you're available to apply for or what you're possibly able to do. So it's completely important. So here we are, and this is the golf ball that, so like, let's, let's imagine that of all the things that I've communicated to you, and uh, it's a few other things that I need to troubleshoot, uh, we're going to fix it with this golf ball, right? And so, just that early understanding is recorded there. And between those two marks that I made there, it's like a little short circuit. It goes, and so within it is the information of, of the intention that I've broadcast and, and it's sort of uh, recorded there, so we're creating like a circuit. Alright, so now what I want to do is actually create a sort of little island here, because I want it to be very secure, so I'm making circles to indicate that it has walls, it has uh, so, you know, some sort of security, some sort of body, and then I'm going to go shush, and I'm putting my spell here. Haha! -ha. And so you see, so I've made like a signature mark there, and what that is is a very secure concept idea of what it is that I, I already determined before this filming of what is this engine, right? Now it is not something that you need be curious or suspicious of because it's not going to hurt you, it's going to help you, it's like an angel. Now, there are a few different ways to mark the exterior of the uh, prism skin, the surface tension, to actually cause the correct effect that, that changes it into a powerful mechanism with atomic energy. This is just pure energy here. So, as we are the ones empowered over the garden, it is that we are also empowered to affect and command the prism of certain objects and use them as instruments to control the garden because we are the masters of the garden, that is our responsibility. Okay, so by mark making we can do this and by also by paint we can do this. And I'm going to use my incredible right hand. Now on my right side of my body is not where my heart is and so this hand is a bit mechanical. It's like my robot hand. But on my left side where my heart is and so my left hand is a little bit mysterious and unwieldy and so I write with my right hand because as my robot I'm trying to make a scroll from my idea, but my left hand is a little bit sort of unpredictable because it's on the side of my heart. And yet, the symmetry that we find in a mirror is divided at the nose. We have a right eye and a left eye, the two eyes creating a circular vision. So this is the kind of mainframe robot that we inherit, but we are a one-of-a-kind self that does occur within the body. So it's all about parenting. The body is parenting up the self of within, found in a timeline, etc. All right, so here we go. Now, when you speak over the liquid water, it is that the water does detect your intention and it's recorded there and this has been proven by some scientists who were meditating on droplets of water and they'd speak over the water and then they'd freeze the water and depending on what was uh, projected at the water would determine what type of uh, uh, crystal was formed there after it was you know put into the freezing chamber and then it revealed sort of the crystalline design of the intention that was sent into that water droplet. And so we know that water does pick up intentions and it also displays and, and sort of performs the intention. So as an artist to speak the good blessing over the, uh, the, the liquid and, and then when it dries it, it preserves that intention. And so oftentimes when you're looking at a painting the spirit you're receiving there is the goodness of that painter because this really it, you're seeing a portrait of someone you're seeing a portrait that of a painter, like a self-portrait, no matter what they're painting, it's like this sort of reflection of who that person is in the best. 
of it. So you're seeing sort of this glow of someone when you go to a museum. It's like a museum of people. All right. Ra, high best best, operating the engine golf ball in the supreme manner. Go, ra mi myon, pum pum. And now I've applied it to the golf ball. And so the mark that I put into the water is recorded here and now applied to the golf ball. And so the surface tension of the golf ball is being changed this way, and that is going to affect the center and the core and the structure of this golf ball. And now is the time when I am inviting you to make a mark because whatever kind of problems you have, we can change it and make it better and, and apply the cure. And when I make this circuit here, that's going to be a part of the armature of this circuit on the golf ball. You ready? And there you go. You've made an affirmative change for yourself and it is indicated there. By our communication, it's real. That's one of our powers. And we know that from the eyes, there are little particles coming out, so you could use that. Or you can use a wavelength, like a, some radiation of uh, the sun, you know, radiance, or the glory of, uh, you know, just embodiment. Or uh, some other theory of your own that is the uniqueness of yourself. And so we're all working together as a family and being constructive and all this. Now I'm going to make one more mark to indicate balance. To balance these two circuits on the outside of the sort of organism. And so then there it is on the surface tension. I'm going to pull a sort of line from this t side to the other side. Yeah. Boom. So now I've kind of activated the engine. And so the whole form is now alive uh, with my intention. And what I'm going to do is I have a specially prepared club and we're going to strike this club and then when this ball flies it's going to cut through the air and every, you know, sort of thing that needs to be broken is just going to snap through in the intellect of time. And so much more will occur and when the ball does land somewhere on the ground that will be the precise point that it needs to strike, like a breaking point where it's going to strike and all the things that are good that we are projecting with this object engine is going to activate the cure and implement the cure and so tomorrow will be a greater day because of that and because of your participation in our family work together now. So let's begin that transformation and wholly believe in the best result. And you are the one who upholds the best result because you are the guardian child and that is often poorly, sadly, overlooked, be it not so. Let's go. So here's the one golf club that has been designed to do this engine performance and here is the golf ball with a tee prepared specially for its purpose and all good things are gonna happen and I'm calling it down right now I'm summoning up all the right powers and authorities to do this thing perfectly in the landscape of the garden in the nature supreme and myself empowered as the one true male mammalian judge of earth is real and so let us believe and now encounter the moment of the sound the ball whoosh and the transformation as it flies through the air cutting down all that opposes our good intention assisting the right angels assisting the garden that we live within let us make all good things better and safer like parenting let's just think about that about you know doing good deeds about true love let's think about that and that's what we uphold and that's the power that we're summoning and we're demanding into this world right now and so this is something you can do on your own time with your idea and your learning curve you can program your skin with the surface tension, you can program your instrument or your sound if you're a musician or just your clothing when you personalize it. And so begins and listen for the T, the snap and the sound. So we begin.
The sound of the forest tapestry resounding the log struck fair by the golf ball engine programmed by myself, yourself, participating, causing actual effect. It is this way, and so we have done our greater most deed, and I thank you for your participation. And this eternity, this snowflake landscape, an epiphany, and all of the snowflakes resounding with the sound echoing and enhancing the greater most effect, a constructive concept, a family of awareness and rejoicing, true love and real joy to you, my good friend. It is good. Sure. So it is that the, the effort, that all that, it, all that has been achieved in this document, in this day, I'm going to sort of bless and filter with this uh, sort of divine, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach now the divine uh, method that I have uh, created a type of engine uh, using a cigarette. It is a tube, and a tube is also created in the orbit and the path of the Earth when the Earth rotates around the Sun. And so you can, uh, if you're the right one to do so, uh, you know, using the correct intentions, you can broadcast uh, into the future of, of where the Earth will be, and you can, you know, relate to your relationship with fire, and you can bless the morrow with a cigarette, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, you take this, and it's most important that the filter has uh, to be activated by the X symbol, and so you put a small dent into the end of the filter as I have just done and it creates this X pattern and that is to symbolize cell division now when a circle has an X in it that means uh, that is the symbol representation of cell division because that's how a cell divides is into fours and that's actually how time operates also that's why the calendar uh, with, that is written on uh, the circle has has these X formations and it echoes out in uh, multiples of four and eight. And so. So, using your personal relationship with fire, using your ability in time as a member of the Garden of Earth, you can effectively use the engine I'm teaching you about now to make the future better. And it, you know, I, I work, I build many engines and as my, my work as creator and, and as artist, but also have these personal things that I do that 
that are not something that I do for others or it's not public or it's it's not something I can teach you and so we there are these things that we can work together on uh, or, uh, there are these public facilities that I've created and broadcast like freeware but then there's this other side of myself and yourself that is entirely sort of this mysterious, uh, uh, you know, secret island, like a private resort. And that's so important because the, the, the sense of self needs this sort of, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of soul stone or, or a security or a one-of-a-kind uh, assuredness and that is the mystery of self. I mean to actually communicate between self is is definitely a divine act and is very important. It's also about like one of the most important things that living beings that use word that is part of what they're uh, sort of carving out or, or performing or proving. It is a truth. It is a, a type of uh, uh, a sort of uh, like a uh, a sort of royal uh, performance, uh, a, a, a sort of a, you know, something that's so innate and important. It's like a stone is working on a type of meditation and we who live and interact and move around and, and communicate, we perform another set of, of responsibilities uh, or, or, or performances that are the actual proof of our group, our, you know, uh, agenda as a as a community that are similar and built with bones or whatever and so as I light this I do command my fire spirit the dog face boy a sort of angel with this the face of a dog and I've performed many fire spells and that is in the Sherlock training part one and you can check that out so so I am actually talking about the next week of time that spans into the uh, near future and I'm going to be cleansing it with my holy fire, right? But it's really just like, you know, you can have these words on it or you might actually start to lose your good communion with the person if you start using funny words and, and getting all, you know, ooh, lofty about it. It's actually a most critical uh, relationship and, and a, a very personal thing. And uh, the relationship to a, from a water body, the, the human body is 80% water. And so we are very much like a crystal prism. And the words that we speak affect the water prism that we are. And so the things you say every day are changing the sort of design pattern of your body. And so, you know, there's stuff that we share, there's stuff that gets inherited, there's stuff that is developed as a community, and then there's also stuff that is one of a kind per person that developed it as they were speaking. And so, the words that you speak and the intention that you broadcast is very much sort of uh, designing a very physical uh, structure of who it is and what you are. And so the truth is known, and those are things are very real. And so we begin in the holy way of uh, sparking that fire. And it is the crystalline water prism command to the fire to perform in a certain way. It is this way, it is good. Yeah. And as the smoke spirals and as the curvature of inhalation, exhalation is occurring. That is also a calculation and a cause and effect engine that you can straddle with a type of intention. And so I've put that intention into it and it's basically, you know, all encompassing and just making everything better, right? Just helping out everywhere. But most importantly, focusing on the garden that I live in and on and with. Because that is my job as custodian and as supreme gardener. As, you know, the one who transforms things and creates. It is very intense. It is very severe. And it is a critical nature that is not often publicly uh, spoken of, not publicly acknowledged, not really taught in the schools. So it's often left to those who are able to kind of 
realize it on their own. So as the smoke curls, I inhale the smoke and some of the smoke stays with my body and, and some of the smoke leaves me. And so the idea there is very much that I am keeping the critical parts that need to be kept in my you know calculation about how to change the future and what exhales is something that I'm like getting rid of, right? So there's these sort of truthful events that are occurring. There's some real things happening here and they sort of suggest metaphorically how their engine or how their uh, cause and effect physical um, occurrence is uh, useful so so you know the parts I keep with me obviously and keeping that part is good and what you blow out and what you exhale is something we're getting rid of right so this is a way of relating to your physical surroundings and when you speak uh, over food it changes the prism and the the water of the food and so you can bless your food with what you say and you know the food and your drink is very much charged by your conversation and by your intention and so you know as you're uh, speaking be mindful that the food that you take in your body can all be transformed into, into medication uh, you know we're talking about like alchemy uh, uh, of uh, you know your experience and your relationship with food and uh, of course as someone who is completely innocent and is just operating off a stanza that, the, that they're in a safe environment and they're just talking about whatever is relevant to them or what's occurring to them, that's completely severe and, re and relevant and legit. And so I'm, I'm never saying that people aren't doing this enough and they need to do this more. I'm always constructive and being sort of a good uh, parental unit or, or a helping sort of entity. <clears throat> you know, and those people that watch this and sort of have this sort of assumption or they get angry or something it's just that's not what I'm inviting and I don't receive that and I don't let other people who are watching and learning be ill affected by that and that's part of my parenting of what it is that I do what I say and what I'm communicating and why it is that people would get upset about something that I'm saying is a very complicated thing why would they get upset it's almost like they've got some sort of little some sort of uh, fixation and something wrong with them that they want to broadcast something negative and that's not even necessary and that's not what I invite and so they've misunderstood my intention and my communication and they're like looking in a mirror and getting angry at themselves and they're, they're broadcasting something angry at themselves because I'm not going to receive that anyway and they're misunderstanding and so a smoke to bless and transform time, creation, reality in the many ways. Utilizing the concept of general specific, utilizing the concept of breaking point, utilizing the concept that is most effective and that is what is applied utilizing the supreme concept that I have developed and I speak often of the short circuit you make two lines and between those lines is a sort of energy of the concept that you were intending in the supreme height of yourself and it is recorded that, that there that's how you can record and document and program your surroundings your life and yourself it's as if we live in a gigantic uh, supercomputer, but it isn't a computer. A computer is just there to help us grasp a metaphor about what our sur actual surroundings are. It's like a liquid potential, and we live in a place that is very much listening to what we do and what we are saying. It's very powerful. And so if you have something that you want to transform in the world, you can make marks that indicate that intention and that solidifies and helps you to construct 
a sort of uh, solid idea about what it is that your task is in life. And so that's very much what I uphold and what I project and what I offer and what I teach. Always is good. Shira. To understand what we can achieve with our relationship with nature, it is our relationship personal. Uh, not for everyone transformative, but myself, I do choose to transform the landscape with the intention of designing a constructive good deeds arcade, a sort of concept and a mark making upon the trees of the forest tapestry and I create these instruments that are designed to do a particular transformative mark making similar to like a brush with a certain curve or a brush with a certain type of bristle that that grants a type of, of uh, you know leaving certain streaks and in the manner of how the paint mixes on the canvas as that brush stroke commits its line making with your robotic hand. The forest is alive and singing on a frequency level that they can hear and detect upon one another. You'd have to use some sort of scientific instrument to translate and convert the sound that the trees and the plants make so that you can hear it, but it's still there. It's just on a lighter level. And so as I make my sound, the trees in their music to one another, they do resound and are the symphony to my song. And the words are as follows. With every year that the trees grow, there is a ring in the branches and in the body of the tree, there's a ring signifying the development of every year of the planet and of the garden. And they are as stabilizers that stand here recording the events that go on. So it is as though I were existing in a, in the metaphor or the idea of a computer system recording everything. But that's just a metaphor because it was already there. It's been there for all this time. But you see that each branch and, and uh, column is, is this in, in, intense and severe a recording of the years of Earth, and so when they do snap and break, it is a really sort of uh, a drastic marking or an indication of transformation. And so I lace my transformation and my mark making with my greater most intention and with the intention that I'm speaking about, and that's my breaking point technique. And so I use these swords that I've forged to do just specific transformative work. And so when I snap it, I'm actually breaking something uh, at the critical point where the break in the tree can actually make the change that I am indicating must happen. 
This is a hatchet that was from my childhood and I liked it because my name was written on the metal part. It says right there my name. You just have to trust me or else I'll show you a picture of it later. But I cleaned it up and I, 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 I sort of worshipped what it was that I did as a child. So I would use this to carve faces into trees. And I put my spell signature on the handle and I marked it with a painted angel blessing using my voice system to record what's going on there. But now is not the time when I can record what is in the angel printed there because the paint has already dried. So it is like a closed book. All right, so it is now, you know, it's charged with what I put in it prior. So this branch here, I'm gonna break it and I'm gonna tell you what it is that I'm doing for the breaking point first. So what I wanna do is sort of break off all the obstacles that I might have between this communication and documentation. I want like all my, you know, legal stuff on it, all my righteous uh, protection and armor. And uh, so that the rest of the marks that we make here on are sort of, you know, framed like a work of art. And so I'm breaking off all the difficulties now. And so you see where the breaking point was. is an indication in cause and effect in the reality, the physicality. And that was where the breaking point was, right here is where the breaking point was even though I struck it there. And so the forest and the, the trees and the branches are telling a very real and uh, sincere proof or, or communication about just the reality and the truth of all that's happening here. So let's continue and perform our work. And I will invite you to join in in the ways that you can a little Later on, here we go. This is a gnarly tree, one that I have thought about much and I have worked on in the past. And this branch remains as if I had left it there for this occasion. So, I now dedicate to this breaking point that all the bad things that are preventing true love and the things that are preventing the, the greater peace, the security to home and family in the supreme demand and worship for the hatching of the egg, the healthy birth, happy birthday. That's what I'm gonna indicate here and breaking point style. And I invite all constructive great spirit angels and beings of earth true to join in and be a part of this signature signing and dedication most intense and severe breaking point style cc and bell it is this way transformative record and demand a change in our living and landscape. Our garden requires gardeners. It requires those who are willing to design. It requires appropriate relationships. And it does invite those people naturally upon the clock and as the year turns. Every year, the demand is made in full for the righteous leaders to appear upon the surface of the planet. This great indication, it is known, and this is not breaking point. This is the security and the foundation of the base, the root system the security and the armor to the face. And 
so the truth is known. Now, this sword is one that I crafted. It's very complicated. It has to do with many layers of my work and is very personal. This sword was made by myself and by following the signs of sort of like what I noticed in the day or what it felt was like a good angelic occurrence or a moment and I said yeah that's what it is that's what's going on and through layers of agreement every mark upon this blade and as it's constructed this blade is actually the blade of the future sons the future ones the righteous leaders the children the angels of the future and I make such movements with this blade so that they are empowered to bless their own lifetime and their birth so they have more rights and empowerment in the garden it is right and so i fight for those good ones who are not yet born and this blade has been blessed and enchanted i've written upon it and it is clearly understood of what this blade does. And so it is like all that needs to be changed, but with the retrospect or the insight from the future in the ways that is possible, not in the ways that are fictional and do not work, but in the ways most extreme, in the ways that are legit and legal and that are most useful. And so into this branch, we put the breaking point of where physically that change needs to happen, a switch where, you know, uh, sometimes it's just a little thing that echoes and becomes a very large thing, but we can prevent war with this technique. Everyone who lives every day, what it is that you don't like the most in the world, the reason that you don't like it is because you're the one that has been called forward by the planet Earth, by the garden. You've been called forward to prevent that thing. That's why you have that emotion and that spirit is because you don't like that thing. And so you're the one to change it. And you can use your own technique or any style to change it. But it is that we are empowered because we are the ones who wield word and who live in the garden. It is very extreme and intense. And so don't fall into the traps that have been laid out for you by the pressures of other evils or whatever. Don't get confused by, you know, worldly groups or leaderships. You are a one and you are empowered in the garden. You're not, you know, trapped or enslaved or ha, ah, enslaved, ensnared, shackled by your surroundings or by what you think is the world idea the world idea is more you and so you know the world idea is me calling true and so as I break this branch I hope that you will help me and at least agree with me that this transformation is happening from the future from our the generations in the future to bring about the greater most good effect you can use general specifics to make blessings. You cannot use general specifics to make evil. Here we go. It is done. The mark is made. The indication is made. And it is supremely victorious and successful. And so now I pass through that doorway. And I invite you to pass through that doorway with me if you so choose and make agreement with me that that affirmative change has happened. For it is indicated on the wood, it is indicated there in that tree, and that tree's old self isn't gonna forget that change, isn't gonna forget that mark, and that branch that was broken off, is, is that's it. It's not gonna come back, so you, it's, it's just a permanent, indication of communication intention and potential 
And so it is our opportunity of those that live in the garden, it is our opportunity to broadcast that opportunity. It's like we're opportunity builders. Using artwork and communications and using the tools and instruments, we are the ones who create sort of a divine canvas of opportunity. And so it is good to philosophize and, and dream about these things, but you just need to remain constructive sincerely and frame your wordings in a constructive way so that you are one that isn't breaking things down but you're building things up homes look at this strange work done here to this tree the strange work done to this tree this looks like some sort of flying beaver some sort of gnawing creature look at this tree just observe this look at this mark making this gnawing this nibbling how could this be what creature does such a thing to a tree some flying beaver look at this mark what a strange thing I don't even know what kind of creature does such a thing to a tree. All right. And so here we are in the supreme plateau in the top of this mountain. A sort of gigantic stone that was pressed here by a, like a, a cliff of ice that's pushing this huge boulder here. And it stands up here. And when I was very youthful, there was all these blueberries here on the top, but now it's just these sort of strange trees or ones that have managed to grow up here, assemble a blessed mountain top in the plateau, which I often come to and I garden here. I will, you know, you know, rake up the brambles and, and sort of repair the moss because this is all moss here but the snow has just fell today a sort of blessing upon the ground now and so this with my great sword it has a file here to keep file it has these cherry fingers with a battery and an iron it has the chisel mark and this was a sword that was broken long ago I was performing my breaking point technique alone and it was this critical strike when I was summoning up like the spirit of those who had wielded swords in the past I was summoning up their spirit to help me break something off the world that it was really like a world issue and that was a while ago, but the, at that critical point, I committed the break, and actually the, the, this wooden part here, it hit the, hit the branch, and the, it was the sword, that wooden sword that broke then. And so I repaired the sword and made it even longer, and I added in this, this pointed scabbard which is actually a piece left over from a shrine that I built and so I keep these pieces and then I, I I find meaning in them and when they have meaning I combine them and make a sort of holy object and so this sword is, is very old to me there's a piece of one of my painting brushes is embezzled in the branch there's another piece of a different painting brush and so I use my combined sort of tools to change and affect because that's what I am I'm like a judge of the world I'm a, a transformative one and I seek always to make things better I seek to become a living angel embodied and it is by your deeds it is by your work that you become a one or a self or that's how you become something and so it's accumulative 
Every day it's recorded. We have unique fingerprints and unique DNA and unique eye scans for a very specific reason because we are important indications of a one-of-a-kind self and we are kept separate not because of something you know that smells funny it's for a very good reason that the truth is known and when your spirit does extend and you affect something far away which is possible with the psychic power but you can't just be like, oh, that's what I want to do. So then you go into it and you spend all your time doing psychic stuff. Oh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to use my power on this. Well, it doesn't always work that way because whatever's over there might be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Hey, that's not the situation here, man. I'm, I'm doing something. I'm cooking something up. So you got to be like, whoa. And you got to be careful about how you use your powers. We have... Not like superpowers, but we have very real physical energy. And they're on different levels and frequencies, like you can't even see them. But with Kirkland photography, you can see like lightning bolts coming out of the tips of your fingers. But you can't see it with your naked eye. And what does that indicate? It indicates that there's so much energy and there's such potential of communication, like a string like a volt of uh, lightning shooting between one and another. Messenger particles, right? And so the things you learn in physics are applicable to your own living standard and psyche. And if you're discovering some sort of problem or you have depression, it's because you're reflecting or you're inflecting or you're experiencing or you're creating a cure for a real problem that the self is having. So if you're depressed about a particular thing, it's probably because a bunch of people are struggling or suffering with an idea or, or, or something that, that actually manifests as this depression. And so when you feel depressed, you're actually working against that problem and, and trying to generate a cure. But myself, I'm never depressed because that's not my job and because that's not the type of workload that I've chosen for myself. And so by your choices, you can forge sort of like what it is that you are. And you are a one of a kind self, so it's completely up your opportunity to self-construct and design yourself in any way you aspire. And so a spire of a kingdom is what you are, a living kingdom and all that you observe and see with your eyes are the things that are suddenly joining you and some of them agree with you and sort of live with you and help you out. Like the, the pictures, the icons, the cultural figures, uh, sort of a cartoon character that you really like. It just continues being a part of you. And so when you live and experience, you're treating all of your friends that you've observed with your eyes to the festival and the sort of the luxury of your life and the experience of joy when you eat and the comfort and the ease of sleep. It is something you're blessing all that you've seen with your eyes and even the trees. The trees don't get to experience your food or, or, your, or your sleep when they're in the tree body, when they are the tree. But when you see the tree with your eyes, there's a subtle image of impression of, of them with you. And so you get to bless the forest tapestry that you've seen with your eyes when you medicate and help yourself, you know, when you take care of yourself, you're taking care of the all self. And more close to home, when you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of everything that you've ever seen with your eyes. They're all part of your spiritual branching and the trees of, of the reach of, of your community that you've built by your experience is completely real. And so this breaking point technique, I'm going to perform right now with my most personal blade here. And I'm going to break this branch, and when it breaks, all the things that are hindering you from discovering your greatest possible enlightenment and ability as yourself will be broken off. But I'm not going to do something that you don't want me to do, because I'm not going to jeopardize my relationship with the other people watching this or the other beings that I'm interacting with I'm not going to jeopardize their ability to receive the full benefit of this transformative work. And if I did something to a couple people that they didn't like, 
it would actually hinder my sort of ability as a, a righteous, good, angelic being. And so I won't trespass, all right? I'm just inviting you to be cleaned and healed by this act. All right. So here's the branch here. Come closer. All right. I'm going to break this branch. And when it breaks, it is the breaking point. So we're going to put into, into the branch is the very thing that is sort of hindering your personal transformation and transcendence and enlightenment. And we're just going to say that, you know, that where a bridge is needed to be built will be suddenly built, right? And so we put it into, we put the problem into the branch where it's going to break, but we don't know yet where the branch is going to break. But so it's a, like a quantum suggestion because where it does break, we, it is known because it's about to happen in a moment. And when it does happen, boom, there's that change and it's going to happen. So it's there now in a very small way, but it's so small that it is at the very, the lightning bolt of where the branch is going to uh, crack, like in a real small uh, uh, a small image of the cross section of the branch. You ready? Here we go. Come on, come on. So it was so close to the base. It was here. And we can see, get a good picture of that image there because this is the mystery revealed. And that is where your problems are no more. And where the bridge to evermore and good are. Empower yourself. It is true, it is real. The potential you have, it does grow. And it is good. Sure. is the style of performing or recording or recording performing you need to prepare that arena and launch it before you begin your work like a message in a bottle a ship in a bottle to prepare yourself to prepare the communication because communication really is the extreme sort of maximum achievement and the goal of the elemental table and the system of the universe. The system that brings about the floating garden and the possibility for intelligent life. And so the universe is arranged in such a way as to invite that intelligent life. And so that is who we are. And to respond to it with constructive affirmation and to respond with the message is part of our critical relationship to being born legit in the floating garden paradise we live in paradise. It's so important. And so now I do wear my armor in full, but I want to show you how it is that I apply a sort of sign, a message, a physical indication of the armor that I wear. So the perspective and the vision, the experience of sight is so important. It is, it is more than a metaphor or suggestion of awareness and who dares to put down that everything that is involved with sight and the round vision that we do have 
is one of a kind. We're each born at a different time, and we have unique fingerprints, eye scans, DNA. That is an indication that we are kept separate. It's an indication that the truth is known. It's an indication that we are being sort of documented or preserved in such a way as to indicate our security. And again and again, you're going to see the signs of our own security. And so, using my sound, we all know how you can charge water with your sound. And it changes the sort of design of the water, the crystal. If you freeze the water, then you can see the crystal of the word intention style vibration. All right, here we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to create like a, a small world dream, like a, a quantum reality, a sort of... Uh, occurrence of, of uh, uh, you know, a creation. And it took me years to create the legal system of my own creation style. It was very complicated. And so it is so important for you to identify yourself and become self-aware and use your enlightenment appropriately and, and sort of, ah, it has to be legit, you know, it has to come from within you. And so, you know, and now you are informed, we're communicating now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask like all my most sacred uh, sort of uh, uh, creatures that I've designed. I've been uh, making artwork angels, uh, sort of like a, a little seed, a little design. And if it, you know, grows uh, in the uh, correct place, it produces like a divine being, right? So I'm going to ask them all to help me by writing the blessings that are most important that around my eyes, over and over and over again, they're going to write these things in circles around and around and around my eyes until the my eyes are just, you know, just have this black paint over my eyes to protect my vision, my perspective, my circle, to protect my very, uh, you know, in all the places that I go. And so, my image is so armored that way. And now, you know. And so, by your knowing and our communication, it is like that you are a sort of friend or a sort of one who does help me to wear my armor because you understand what it is that I'm doing. And then once I have worn my armor, once it is on, it is that I transform into a different sort of spirit or being. It is that myself that I summon up. Like when you wake up in the morning, a new day. Every day is this opportunity that we who are born legit in the garden are endowed with it's like the inheritance of the innocent children who are brave enough and who dare to be born at a particular time and it is this weird thing where we're fighting against a type of mindset like a zombie that is trying to is is afraid of movement and the severity of life and is trying to oppress the actual intensity and the full power of the ones born legit in the garden. And so it is this like extreme challenge to become enlightened for the ones who are those children of the divinity of the rainbow. And they are the supreme hope. They are the masters of the garden. They are like these creator robots or, or some sort of prism castle that helps to sustain the landscape and everything that matters, right? So... Knowing that, it is that we need to be aware of the possibility of oppression. Because it's so easy to say like, oh, you know, you're just born an innocent child. And, and the innocence is what is really the power. And it becomes this mockery sort of debate about what's invasion and, and who is in charge and all this stuff. Legalist systems and government robots as if it was an important argument and it's not. So understand yourself as one of the garden and understand that you have an individual perspective because we're all kept separate by eye scan, different crystals of our eyes. And how the eyes and the self centered by the nose 
a oneness, a, a sort of fulcrum that brings together someone. And, but who is brought together there? That is a mystery of that person who is there. So this is kind of like enlightened idea about what's most important. And so it is that the supreme shapes, the circle, the triangle, the square, the orb, you know, <clears throat> sort of dimensions of, that are held together by shapes and all this stuff. They all sort of agreed and worked together as a perfect family. And it was so excellent that they did that. And I just love that. And I always adore them for that choice. It was so adult and good for them to choose that way. And so the idea that what is most important is to invite these new people, these children, to be found, to, to, that they would discover themselves in the garden. And it's this, uh, this uh, legitimate experience. It's like a challenge, like a self-challenge to become self-aware and to make the best of it all this, all of this. And so what I'm trying to say is not, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your stuff because I can't do that. It's actually like this miracle of communication, whether or not I can communicate those powers and those authorities to you successfully is my challenge, whence I go into communication world, but between the times of when I create the communications and the films, it is that there are these landscapes of time for myself, and what I do is I build engines that are designed to protect and enhance and purify and cleanse and armor my own artwork, my own creation, my own seed, my own self, my own everything. And so it is possible by, if you want to define yourself in a particular way, that is your choosing. But if someone is oppressing you and making you choose in a particular way, that's not really your choosing. You're actually telling the universe, hey, someone's telling me that I should talk bad about myself or that I should be negative or, mm, oh, life is so tough. You know, and it's just, there's all these little things that we have to do every day, little chores so that we can continue breathing and perceiving. And that is a parental lesson that teaches us that awareness is so extreme and so profound of all. And so that we are here and live and exist it is the supreme proof and the sign that the shapes, the orb are with us, that they support us. All the perfections are our family and we are their children. And so responsibility and the. It is good. Sure. Come on, come on. Go. Uh, all right. So... It's critical that I explain to you about the engines that I create. There are many different types of engines. There are many types of opportunities for the appropriate and legit creator. You must define yourself. And it's very personal. It took me years to figure out the sort of moral logic uh, sort of, it has to do with linguistics, it has to do with communication, it has to do with like larger morals about uh, uh, who you know uh, self control and what is parenting and what is contact and what is appropriate contact and what is not. So using my filter style uh, engine, CC and Bell. I'm going to use the circle, I'm going to use the filter, and I'm going to use the tube. You know, when the, the uh, planet goes around the orbit of the sun, it creates like this uh, tube-like path. And so I'm going to change the past and the future using this one in the style of myself, legit and true and is. You see, the truth is known, and the good guys have defeated all the bad guys. And that's why we're alive in the garden and have freedom. This is very good. And so there is this like is, st like just like boom, like it is that way, huh? And, you know? And you don't have to have like omnipresence in order to do this sort of the truth is known thing. That's why you are, you know, 
focused on your perspective and your life and you are the master sort of professional of your life and your perspective. You're a professional uh, observer and uh, of like your thing, right? But still there's a family all around you and the is style and it's completely sort of whoosh related to you, right? Okay, so I'm gonna mark the end of this with a good cell division mark in the style CC and bell calendar. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to purify my rock uh, engine computer with this and also purify the ability of myself in image form in this film. All right, here we go. Utilizing and summoning up ha, the spirit, the function, and the angel that I created my son, the dog-faced boy, and he's like this fire spirit, and he just like, whoosh, he's like exists in fire, he's like made of fire or something else, anyway, the fire spirit, and I like this tube, and that's like, I'm like a water prism, water spirit style, CC and belt, and I'm projecting and using my power of fire on like both ways of, of the past and the present, the future and uh, all histories. So here we go. With the truth is known, it is that there is these responsibilities over here, and then there's these opportunities over here, and you have to kind of push, push, choose between them. And it's most important that you observe your personality and your character and your wit and listen to your gut because that is the true nature and the gift of yourself because you are a one-of-a-kind being and so your power is being legit and true to yourself. And then when you're doing that, you're like helping everyone. You're helping the whole family. Now, what I've done is I, I put these lights in here uh, to sort of excite and simulate where the stones are going to be and I've been collecting these stones here for years I've been collecting these stones each from unique places around the area and they were each involved with a very important sort of epiphany when I found them and I'm, I'm charging them with the blessing of my word style and then I'm going to put them in here and I prepared this space for the engine of the stone and they're going to perform a certain type of like computer function of like a, a calculation similar to what it is we're used to thinking of or perceiving as a computer and so using like the metaphor or the idea of a computer I'm creating my own computer using stone and it is that I was actually invited through a series of like complicated dreams and signs and stuff that I was encouraged to work with stone. And so I encourage you, if you want to work with stone, you need to ask the stones first if it's all right to do so. Or you need to be invited or called to it, right? Check this out. How old is this stone? How old is this stone? This stone. How old is this stone? The earth itself is four billion years old. So it is possible that this rock is like three billion years old, if not the actual age of the earth. But upon its formation, it became a self or a one with surface tension. It is a prism. And so it has a body. It has a skin. And it has a center. And it has been studying and observing itself using the energies of matter. And it's just sort of like beaming around with all this power. And it has been sort of thinking about its intricate complexities and the way that it is one of a kind. It granted that this power, right? But it doesn't have a, a brain and it doesn't have eyeballs, but it has something else. Uh, because how else would it survive like three or four billion years of meditation and being a someone, a body? And the complexities of the elements that form the rock 
and the different rock formations or combinations that cause it to be different colors. It is a one-of-a-kind swirling powered whoosh, like a, just it came together from dust, right? Ah, so much power there. And so it is an ancient monk, is this rock. And so it is very serious when I work with them. And it is not that I am, whoo, some bizarrity. It is that I was sort of summoned up by the clock of the heliosphere, of the solar system, of the orbit of Earth, on the clock. And now it is beginning a new level of its meditation in the style of the clock and in the engine rock style CC and bell. Here we go. To be constructive, to be a one-of-a-kind self, it is the sort of supreme responsibility and inheritance that we each have. How old is the meditation of the stone? The severity of that relationship? And these stones are all here just to ensure our security. Cut. Recalling the armor, circle style, to the beginning of the footage of the previous recording. Sure, is good, is there. Communication style, projecting and saying it using your freedom, your body as a prism. Boom. Then, they're like a tension between the beginning of the previous cut and this cut. Whoosh, boom, shoo. Alright, so then using a tube and a beginning point and an ending point and then shoo calling it together. It's like uh, using your powers with your, uh, you know, five fingers, ten fingers, the circle, one, ten, one hundred, uh, using the power of hand, shush, in all that it can do, and the greatest uh, powers and authorities, and, uh, you know, learning about your unique uh, ability, using, you know, the shapes that are naturally gifted to you in your body. Oh, yes. And so armor up in the way that's right for you. Wear your full armor that is sort of your inheritance. And it is good for you to wear the armor that's right for you. And know that I wear my armor in full. Like, since before I was born, my armor has been worn by myself. The truth is known. And it is that certain things that are obvious... The truth is known, and that's why there's warning signs, that's why there's signs in general. Because it is that some people are saying, well, I, I didn't know that that was going to happen, you know. It has to happen in order to happen, right? Well, not always. Usually, in the spectrum of, well, let's bring into reality some sort of occurrence. You're talking about something magnificent and extreme. And that is the kind of occurrence that you need to encourage and invite and with your power. Invite the garden to create that occurrence in time. So plant the many seeds of true love and inspiration extreme into the future. And even tomorrow can be changed and blessed by you this way. Oh yes. It is good. And so, there's much for us to explore and be excited about. And that's why right now I am going to show you one of my most extreme technique style performing. It is actually not so much a performance and I'm not acting. I'm actually doing something that they used to call magic. Something that they used to call some sort of ha. Ah, uh, some sort of whoosh, okay? And they put these words on it, and it gets dulled down, and then people say, oh, that's a cult, oh, that's magic, don't do that. But hidden within the realms of what's a cult and what's magic is actually some of the greater forces that are natural to the body that you're born within. So, surprise, you know, you have ability to change the world and the garden. Oh, oh, it's you know, so secret, 
and it, it's so, uh, oh, it's so hard to explain, but it's not. It's very natural. And we all do this performance every day, it, doing our, you know, daily uh, function of what our system, society is demanding of us. An extreme blessing, an extreme ability in performance. And when we're out there doing what we love the most, that is a testimony of our freedom and it is the greater function of our all self. And so, you know, you, what I'm trying to say is you, you have to beware about certain words that are keeping away from you, your powers, you know, oh, that's magic. Well, oh, oh we're not going to do that then. And, uh, you know, or this idea about, uh, you know, who's in charge, you know? The masters of the garden are in charge of the garden. So if there's something that you don't like in the world, you are empowered to go ahead and create artwork and create, you know, objects and create words, create uh, books, create sort of proclamations about your will. And it, uh, once again, that's something that all people do every day. They're all voting on what's good and what's bad. And so there's this extreme communication and experience about right and wrong, true love, and how to protect our children's or protect ourself, our inner child, right? And so now I perform with action the ability whoosh, that I have with my body function prism supreme and this uniform this suit I wear it has been charged I painted the back with a circular crest it is like a a mail of armor that I wear that increases my body but when I take it off I'm not taking off my armor and so it is that you can change your clothing, and when you do so, and you change your clothing, and you alter it, it is that you are affecting yourself. But that effect that goes into yourself, it stays with you, and doesn't leave you when you take off your clothes. So, once again, here's an opportunity for you to alter your true self, your prism, your body, that your one-of-a-kind self is developing within. If you alter your clothing, or you, you know, you have your favorite outfit, that is extremely your authority and a way that you are carving by hand your personality and even your future, your destiny of what shall happen to you. So do this thing with the utmost of care. Do this thing with the utmost of intelligence to perform your greatest task of yourself. It is good. Using the style of charging this paint with my intention that is whoosh, kind of hidden like a, like a secret... Uh, you know, like some sort of whoosh, it's like encrypted in the sound of my voice. And you can imagine like whoosh, all this fire coming out. And it goes into the paint. So I wear now a new level of armor. Increasing the style of my voice, increasing the style of all that my voice can do. This is my authority, it is my power. Oh, always it is good, and it is right, and it is extreme for me and you to perceive and exist, to be the ones that are the masters of the garden, extreme and profound communication, extreme twelve ribs and a rainbow suggested in your spine. So, when you have a bottle of water on the shelf and some light goes through it, whoosh, 
you can see a rainbow is projected on the countertop there. And so as you are a water prism, which you are, you're like, more than 80% water. Ooh, what does that mean? It means that as the light passively goes through you, there's also a rainbow that's projected there. And so there are natural functions of what a rainbow does as it is projected from oneself. But it is also your extreme ability to sort of command your personal rainbow in of what it does and how it affects everything. Whoosh. Shush. And so now it is complete. I am wearing a new level of armor. And I'm going to perform two things. One of which is to transform my wall of ideas. Every time I have an idea, I make a mark on the wall to indicate the recording of my idea using the elements that are passive to me, paint and the wand of brush or, you know, a pencil. And if you have something that you don't like out there in the world, you can just take a pencil uh, and, and say, eh, no to you, snook. And then you break that pencil and that thing is shook by that and undone. But also, you're like sacrificing the pencil to that work. And so you can imagine that it, to, to make the change that you wanted to see or happen, it's uh, all in the lead of that paint. And that pencil kind of designs like a, uh, a paper uh, graphite lead pencil style circuit. Just an idea. Ooh. And so ideas are these ideas are the arsenal that we have at our disposal. And the style of DNA has 12 levels in it. The style of rib has 12 levels in it. The style of light has a 12 spiral in it. And so these shapes and uh, Whoosh. Patterns are suggested to us. They're part of our body structure, and that's how life works, right? So all these shapes and, uh, uh, you know, a tube, a circle, a square, a triangle. These things are like these uh, passive elements, such as paint, that we can use to kind of extend our greater most intentions to all creation and reality. And there's a real kind of snafu where it kind of, it looks like, oh, nothing's happening, man. You're painting a picture and you still feel the same. Oh, I'm, you know, still the same as I was before. But really everything has been changed by your art because there's something there now that wasn't there before. And all the ideas that you kind of put into it passively, more like a radiation or, or an eminence of yourself is going into the paint and all the things that you said there innocently going into the paint, recorded by sound vibration style. All right, so my greatest gift to you is to say now that you are empowered to do great good in all creation and reality. It is so extreme, and it's like this hidden thing because you can't really see what it is that you're, you know, ah, you can't see the time that was made better by your blessing. But it's like this really subtle adult thing where you have to understand the value of being good and being an angel and projecting your goodwill to help people that you don't see. But when you do and as you do, and this is something I've experienced personally, is you start to feel an emotional level to you. Like a karmic return and a blessing that fills you up and you start to feel stronger oh, and you start to feel light on your toes. And so you can command your body to be kind of subtly changed in a way that you want to see changed because of whoosh, your own sense of what's good. Because your body is a type of water prism, it will respond to your word command. And so if you're having trouble with this and that, just tell yourself, you know, don't do that, you know, and you've got to actually say it and command. you can make some artwork and you can transform your own body. 
But what I'm trying to say is that we're born legit in the garden. And so what it is is that we have this power to sort of extend ourselves through artwork, through music, through the ability that we are drawn to. And we are that spirit. We are that spirit of art. We are that spirit of sound. We also need to appreciate that your sound and your artwork is entirely like a child of your family tree, of your an extension of yourself, or some sort of perfect family, unconditional love. Your artwork and your music is your child, and so you need to commit parenting to your own work to really, ooh, to let them know oh, how deeply you care. And I, I want to say that it's like if you're just innocently making art or sound, it's not like they're not receiving parenting because your artwork sort of intricately knows you as a person, and that's the sort of the parenting that they receive automatically. So I'm just trying to give you some really good ideas here. So if you, you know, if you have a Kirkland f photograph of your hands, you can see these, ooh, these like lightning bolts of power shooting out from your t fingertips. The epiphany of the mountaintop has a, this, shush, this like spire of energy that shoots out, but you can only see it in Kirkland photographs, right? So and this is a suggestion that there are energies and powers all around us that are that you can't see with a round eye and that's sort of like this sort of enlightenment test for the enlightened one uh, for those who cannot sense that they have powers they're not to be gifted with such extreme tools and authorities but for those who can perceive that there is something more something like the idea of magic and then they start to learn more and stuff like that. And it's sort of like this sense, you know, you have to like uh, intuit it. Uh, it's all about, you know, storytelling, the good stories of our culture. And we're talking about what's right and wrong every day. That's all integrated and part of it, naturally. And there is also something that I uphold and support with my everything, right? All right. We are related in the universe. It is good this way. Now, the other thing I wanted to do, I've made this markation. And so, you have witnessed my own sort of technique style here. And so that's in the marks as well there. Whoosh! Like the angel wings. And so, you know, if you can imagine all the different marks that I've made here over time, you would be helping me in my realms of creation also, because your imagination is like this awesome thing. But I am very quick to mention that I do not do something that you do not want, and I do not invade. That's most important, and I suggest you do the same kind of dedication so that your audience knows of your intention. Because there are dangers out there, but the dangers are really stupid things, like trying to do some sort of weird, you know, spell on someone, that's dangerous because it's just like, you know what, that might not be true love. And so I always do things with true love in mind. Anyway, all my ideas are like a great library. I had like this kind of like, whoo, like a, this incredible spiritual uh, uh, crown, like whoosh, like all these ideas, right? And so it's this kind of library of angels. And so for you to be integral with that is good and constructive and is not a corrosive relationship. But see, you see, I don't need you to make this library because I've already done it. But your relationship, your friendship is invited and it is good and constructive. And I've put out parameters, you see, so that we can communicate safely. Utilizing the power of this blade. This is an incredibly powerful object. It is the angelic uh, a sort of idea weapon, right? But it isn't, it isn't designed to actually hurt a living person, you see? So it's a ritual blade. And I've been doing this my whole life. I'm a swordsmith. When I was a kid, 
I didn't receive presents because it wasn't the normal thing for me to get toys in my family. And so what I did is I created my own. It of all what I was doing, I was surrounded by forest landscape. I grew up in the wild, running with my dog. Whoosh! My best friend was my pet dog, right? My father was a contractor and he taught me how to build a house. And I used my carpentry skill and gift to create these swords. And I'd wander through the wilderness, the landscape of forest, thousands of acres, enchanted woodlands where I grew up. And I would break these dead branches with my spiritual blades. And I was cutting down the worst of evils when it was that I broke that branch. And it is the breaking point technique that I explained and, you know, illuminated earlier in the film. So, this blade is marked with, with particular ideas and angels. Each of the ideas are an angel. And all my ideas sort of share amongst one another their collected powers, right? All right, so, and this sword was made to help and to allow all the great heroes, uh, children of the future, to interact and participate with the now uh, that we're living in. And it's so important and it's difficult for me to explain. But it is that they love their parents so much and they want to relate to them and help them. So, this sword is actually designed to give them the opportunity to do so if they if their spirit does transcend and grants that sort of relationship if they're able to do that if they want to do that if that happens then it is that way so the idea here is that you need to create opportunities for the spirit for time for occurrence for true love for family values you are the one in control with self-control you are empowered in the garden you have all these raw materials and so we are extremely empowered, and though there's this veil to make us look, make it look like that we're not empowered, but we are. Into this uh, raw material of pain, I put this sort of gift of an increased value. Whatever it is that they need in the future so that there's no big problems, we have to stop it now. It's called preventive medicine. Preventive medicine is very important and very useful. Whoosh. Here we go. It is good. Come on, come on, church. And so there's the angel and the spell. And, and as the paint dries, it really solidifies the idea. The name Colin means natural born leader. And I want the natural born leaders of the future to win. And I want the natural born leaders of the past to win. And so it's like this tube thing. Like I start with this thing, Colin wins, to this, Colin won. And that means that I'm saying that all time is like this vacuum bend between the point of when the natural born leader of that time shape or dimension or area or arena or decision making or you know empire that the natural born leader won there that the good win and it's so important the stories that we tell are very telling about our natures and our true will judgment and voting because we are saying again and again with our stories that the good have won and that the good are empowered over the evil. And so we are a big, you know, supporters of, you know, true love and family values. We are big supporters of health. Invite true health to your body. Invite all the good things that you long for to yourself. And that is your responsibility. And that is your authority. That is your gift and power. And it is good. And so... I'm going to go and break a branch with this sword, and when it does, it's going to cast that spell and allow for a transformative uh, event. You know, how does it happen? You know, nanto. Somehow. It happens somehow. Okay, you just have to allow for the good thing to happen and say absolutely no to the bad thing happening. And that is a part of your authority. And your gift. And so once again, I just want to explain that it is so important that we 
proclaim our will so that we are known by the planet that we live on, we are known by the garden, we are known by the spirit, we are known by the perception and everything. You know, the carbon in our bodies and the cartilage does reverberate and shake with our will and our sound and our ideas, feelings, and experience. And so we are recorded. And that's one thing I wanted to say about the stones is that when you move a stone, it creates like a tube of like like animation, frames of its movement, and it records that on a micro scale, you see, because it has like almost a nearly infinite amount of degrees and ability to, to record. And using aluminum and so lightest metal, you can understand aluminum is very sensitive. So it's like this liquid, uh, you know, uh, processor, like, uh, you know, recording things is absolutely what the element does. So you move a stone and it creates like a recording. And so it's like you're programming as if all the universe was a big computer, which it isn't. But it's like you're programming over here and it creates an effect over here because there's like a projector and light goes through it and then whoosh. And so like a larger sort of uh, outline or organism shape or something, some sort of function is projected there, and that's sort of the, how you can become a time lord, right? You can actually change time and reality using your body and the forms of the passive elements that are around you. You know, you need to study and research, but as things are presented to you and as you respond to those things that are presented to you, you are being sort of forged, like, uh, like this great anvil there. They're forging a hammer, uh, 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 and then they're forging the sword of what you are and who you are and what you can do. And so all that is that you can do, I say, let it be good. And by using this general specific, I can be very safe and very divine. And I want to say that general specifics are only to be used by the good and not by the evil. Now, you know, if you want to start talking about what's good and bad, that's a little bit kind of a, like a waste of time. I'm saying like, let's be of the spirit and let's be of the com communication. Let's be of the movement, the sound and the images of making things better. Okay, and so if someone's watching this and saying like, well, how do you know what is good and what's bad? It's like, look, person who wants to touchy, touchy, argue with me. I don't want to talk with you because I'm leading a group of spirits and enlightenments and minds and stuff like from different areas, realms, the stones, okay? These different types of prism tension meditations. And I'm trying to tell you, that we are all in this together trying to make things better. And so for that person that's arguing with me, we're going to bless them and help them to make their lives more comfortable or more better. I mean, there's this general idea about right and wrong, pain and pleasure, okay? Ugh, it's not that complicated. But what is complicated is you need to be aware of what it is your intention is and truly and purely make it that way. And when you communicate, it's like, okay, now we are making something happen. We are making... And you have to actually describe what it is that you're making happen before you can project that light through it and, and have the, an effect, okay? And so, again, with the Kirkland photography, the idea is that, whoosh, this all this energy around us, but there's different types of photography and different levels of energy and light all around us, but the body integrates all those things into one form. Twelve ribs, ten fingers, two eyes, one nose, one perspective, a circle. So you know. Whoosh, you are empowered and you have ability and you have authorities and you have powers being a legit resident of the garden. You are born there and you're born with certain innate properties that allow you to do fantastical things. And so it is that the evil and the bad things are actually a type of societal, uh, like an emotional war, like torture, right? Like so bad feelings as a viral sense or a viral experience is to be shut down and stopped and prevented because all the people having a good time is actually the enlightenment of earth and it's actually what's happening and it's actually this sort of natural subconscious programming that we're presenting to the past and the future and to the now. And it, all the organisms of the universe are experiencing the same now as if it were an animation, but it's not. Okay, but it's uh, so these words like this metaphor of computer is just actually 
a kind of idea to help us understand what it is that we can do. And it is our power and authority to change certain things. And if it's on your heart to change a certain thing, you're the right spirit or person to be doing that because that's why you have that feeling. Because you've been sort of summoned and elected to be passionate about this issue or that issue. And so your authority is actually to fix the problem. And I'm trying to say that that's the mind shift. And there's this like telepathic war, right? But it, what I'm saying is that you have the ability to fix the problem and put out the fire. What I'm trying to say is that you're passionate about this issue or problem, then you're the one to fix it, go ahead and fix it. And it's, it's so important that your mindset is right, okay? Because you need to say, I can fix it, and now I fix it. And you can even draw a picture of how it is that you fix it, or, or draw an angel of, this is the angel that will fix it. And then, because then the angel will go and have all the authorities and abilities to see what the issue is and see how it works. And, oh, there's this level, and oh, okay, shoo, 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 boop. And then that, you know, trouble in the world stops. And so then the future is blessed by you and your work, okay? So, and, and as you grow, you, you will feel it. It's, a, it's this emotional, like a karmic return. But, uh, you know, these words are very often overused and difficult, but the words are like tools and the communication, so you have to wear your armor. Okay. But, it, you know, everything isn't just interpretation. Everything isn't just, oh, he said so, she said so. You know, it's not that we're trying to encourage each other to be separate. It's actually where that we're in, trying to encourage each other to communicate. True love, family values extreme. And so open up the communication valves to the ones who are good for you, the ones who are uh, in love with you, who, who can benefit you, and you can use a general specific saying, I want to talk to the being in all of creation reality, that's going to help me the most. Okay, and then that's a general specific, and that's going to help you. You can go there and do it. Push. So, using the parameters of your will, function, understanding, enlightenment, is what you are. And the definition of what you are, or what we are, or what we can possibly be, is what the people are not only defining, they're expounding upon it, they're making it more every day. And so, this is the great gift that we give back to creation. And it is perfect, it is good, it is this way. It is divine, it is intended, it is our family. Eternal and good is good, is this way. Sure, it's come on, come on. Cut. So, in this chapter, in this day, I've done my best for you to communicate what it is that I knew was most important. And I'm now going to perform the final part of this communication. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to break a branch. And when that branch breaks, it's going to make that transformative spell from the, we're going to call up the will of the future children, future angels, future best, ourself, right? Our planet garden and, and everything like that. So we want to summon that up and we want to allow that to happen in the best of ways. And that is when, you know, that branch breaks, that's the particular, the, the, like a lightning bolt, uh, shush, right where the branch breaks. That's actually this sort of like micro uh, point, like a super laser point, where that sort of transformation is going to make, uh, is going to happen. So it's almost, it's like an angel door or something like that. But what I want to try to say is that the good are, you know, working all the time to prevent bad doors. And they're working all the time to encourage good children. And so I want you to know that you, you are needed in the effort of good and try to prevent, you know, problematic birth, prevent uh, sickness, uh, prevent accidents, prevent uh, a tragedy, you know, like all these things that are traumatic to the self. Let us increase our value and sense of our empowerment over the garden. And it is good, you know, but, but like when you guys are feeling like you're not empowered and, and oh, I'm bored, or you're feeling like, uh, uh, you know, it's the, the government of the world isn't me, it's something else. What you're doing actually is you're testifying and you're living as an example that the system is faulty. Because what should be educated and delivered to you is the, the supreme enlightenment that you are this completely divine and in enlightened 
so one-of-a-kind, special, unique, and important child of the garden, empowered and legit with cause and effect, backing you up all the things in the past have led to us. And so, whoosh, that's so important. Now, all right. Uh, so what I want to say is that we are, so that place where the lightning strike, where it breaks the branch, it's like, let's imagine that that divine point is already there. It's, it's already like known by the perfect, right? So like there's a circle of that that is known and we're going to like pull it into the future with a vacuum and with our understanding, willpower, imagination. Here we go. You know, between you and me and the other people and the other things, there's like this fabric, like a tension, like a grid or something. Uh, it works perfectly, and it is just designed absolutely to do its best and do what it is that we need it to do, all right? So, here we go. And so, what I'm saying is like that that breaking point is already there, but it is not known by the bad guys or the good guys or by you and me, because I we haven't seen it. But let's just imagine a certain engine that allows us to know that, that where that particular mark and breaking point is. And then it's like I'm going to be led to it by like a, a series of little blue lights that are going to just draw me in. And I'll be drawn to the right branch and we're going to break it. And it's going to cause this effect and we're going to just sort of transform the world right now. Very much that it is I'm not trying to lecture or change you. I'm trying to work with you to change everything that needs changing. I'm trying to say that we are the parents of ourselves and we are the adults of this creation and we are going to parent and take care of everything. Okay, we are the masters of the garden. We are the ones empowered with these passive elements all around us. We are the ones that need to take on that responsibility and behave it. And certainly it is that the metaphor, the idea of that happening is uh, portrayed when whoosh, uh, uh, parenting and family values happens, a happy home, true love. And so that's the actual physical side of being the responsible custodian, right? The very natural. But if you can kind of be a little bit enlightened about it, you can say, oh, project that idea whoosh, into everything else. And so you are like this mechanical animal robot divine, you know, legit and, and supremely empowered over ooh, the garden. You know, we are alive in paradise. It is we, that we are, we are alive in health, in heaven. It is divine and it feels so good. And so take care of yourself. Because when you take care of yourself, you're taking care of your whole household. That's sort of a spirit that lives with you, but also a spirit that you drew to yourself using your power or your, your singularity of embodiment. An act of bravery. All right. What I want to say is, is that I've created a wheel gear that uh, I've implemented to allow all the humans on planet Earth to uh, perform perfectly their uh, divine uh, um, responsibility or their, their, their angel performance or their, their perfect ability will, shall be achieved to the max, right? Uh, especially when there are these uh, sort of uh, constellation signs like on a clock when things line up. Uh, the the 2012 12 thing that was predicted by the circle with an X in it. It's good cell division. Whoosh! All right. Uh, it's not a countdown to a bad thing. It's a countdown to a good thing. So there's your interpretation snare. You know, are you thinking something bad about the future? Go away. You've got to be thinking something good and projecting something good into the future. That's what it's about. And that's who we're looking for. And so those people who are constructive and useful and intelligent and fun to be around, those are the ones who get encouraged. And we multiply those and we say no to these sort of madnesses and these kinds of characters that want to bother the angels who are doing their work. All right, so, so, you know, all this responsibility, you can create armor that helps the good angels do their best work. And you're just doing this to over and over and like, whoa. And it's like, then the good angels are able to do their good work. And so when you're creating, you can project that intention. I just want to help you guys to do your good work. You know, spirits of storytelling, they're all very real. They're just living in their body where it is that they can have a body sort of a suspension in time, perhaps, like a 
you know, a fraction of tomorrow or something. Sort of this, whoo, like a dream world that you're, you're lucid dreaming, but it's actually some sort of, you know, incredible hero character who's like living by a projection of all the, you know, we all watched it on the film screen or we read it in a book. And it is that that character is like brought alive by our awareness particles and our imagination and our experience and the circle of our vision recorded in the circle. So the circle itself is inviting us, the legit children, to participate with the nature of circle, with the contents of circle. So it's like, whoa, it's really intense. And that intensity is sometimes what uh, scares away someone who isn't being encouraged. Okay, so if, if, you know, first of all, be encouraged. Second of all, forget about that stuff that you're not empowered because you are. And third of all, I want to say that I've created a gear in the clockwork of Earth to allow all these children around the Earth to do their best in the, in the maximum because there's events of, like, um, <clears throat> planets aligning or uh, eclipses. And these are, like, mo important moments on the, uh, fr you know, on the circle, right? The circle of orbit. And then things line up and then dong, there's like a bell sound or something. So, you know, it's important because the heliosphere is a gigantic egg. It's like a clock and all these different wheels and things are turning around and they're all involved with one, one another as a family. And so the heliosphere is this big egg and it's floating through space. And we have to do our best to parent the garden and be the mind, the self of the parental unit and the function of what the heliosphere does in the best utmost. So the style is that we are those ones chosen to be the family and, you know, the self of, of Earth heliosphere. It's so important. Like, Earth is on the third ring, right? So it's the, Earth is on the green line. The green rainbow comes up and divides like this, and it goes into yellow. It goes into blue, and blue is the opposite of yellow. So you can see there's this, like, positive-negative thing happening here. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And so we know that there's a degree, a curvature, and a way. And so I've created this gear to empower all the people to do their best in of what they do every day. And so they are like subconsciously empowered to do their greater self and utmost for the earth and earth heliosphere and the universe and beyond. It is good. Swedish comments come on. Transformation extreme. The good are empowered. Good of one. It is this way. You are important, you are one of a kind, and you are responsible for yourself. Let us begin and call in with those blue dots, that branch that we're going to transform everything this day. Here we go. Shush. It's good. So, this is the way and this is the place. Jira! Jira! Summoning up all the right things that we require now, performing the task of the transforming of this branch right up here, and it looks like a sort of lightning bolt as it zigzags. So I'm gonna break it, but it's not it's not important that it falls down. I'm just gonna change this branch. I'm gonna change it. And the change that is made there is sufficient. So prepare yourself and use your divine empowerment as a one and self of this creation reality to summon up the greatest possible good that you can achieve and be a part of this transformation in history to allow the greatest possible improvement and good. And it is from a voice and a one in a self that cannot speak, and so it is we are the parents of that self, or it is a self of the future. I am Collins Colin once. Yeah. It is this way, broken and undone, and the transformation complete, and the right seeds 
of perfection in the true heroes. Complete, achieved, and done. Now begin your path with the greater most enlightenment yeah, of your new self and incur your full perfection and continue your work of self-improvement every day. It is good. It is this way. is completed and to work with the clock tower and the gears and the circles this way we do make some whoosh adjustment to the clock system and the whoosh the engine of the stone and so it is so important about your intention Everything has surface tension, so it's com completely important about your intention for the movement and for yourself and for the movement of yourself and for all the things that you are responsible for and of your education reflecting much more about the truth beyond cause and effect is good. And so... The additions that the stone computer can make to the work we did with the sword representing a transformation for the heroes and the self, the children of the future. It is now this way and it is added to that program or computer robots. You know, it's just like a metaphor of the actual act of that things are recorded and that that means that you are empowered with the appropriate mantle and armor the authority that is you and so there's that's the mystery and the discovery of time is these like brand new one-of-a-kind self angel authority supreme and so that what i wanted to say is that it doesn't really uh, it isn't important about the sound that you make. If you think your sound is kind of whoosh, but it's okay because it's your intention that is most important. Yeah, holy smoke. It is good. Yeah. Yeah. Whoosh. It's good. Transform your face. That is your authority. Program what it is. Ah, that you are and most important I want to say that I do not condone or I do not encourage violence I do not encourage rude behavior I encourage and I am of a spirit creed that is of constructive nature like an angel supreme and empowered that way you know what I'm saying you apply you make yourself that way every day but it is by a practice you have to go beyond what you just say and it is actually something that you are and that you perform every day and so if you have a troubling thought or you have a depression that's not necessarily yourself or your fault you're not to blame it is sometimes something that the self itself that is all self, of all creation reality. Everyone that's living or experiencing, they're experiencing some difficulty. They're like, ah, ah, ah. And you might be experiencing some sort of, ah, like upset thought because it's your psychic uh, family group where you're sensing, ah, something's wrong and you're actually physically suffering for it or embodying the problem. So as you're working on part of the solution, like a group that is meditating on a solution or a type of rendering of the solution ha so it is this way and obviously you know beware of certain words 
because what I just said isn't all of what I want to say, or specifically the most of what I want to say. It is just something that is so important. Shoot it good. Come on, let's go on. Boom. Good. Eternal calling true. CC and Bell. It is good. It is this way. Cut. And always remember that your true self is such a one that potentially cannot be destroyed. Don't let anyone else convince you that you can be destroyed. It is up to you. Don't believe the liar. Believe in your true self. There is a distance between us and it is there for the ultimate security of the true nature and self. So transcend and receive the message and increase yourself. It is for you to increase yourself. And we are separate people. And it is good. This way is this way for a reason. Observe the lights of the school lawyer college. Yeah. Close up styles. Whoosh. <laughs>